Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of The Young Farmer. My name is Andy, as always, and you join me today. We are... Well, we're doing something a little bit different now. I'm actually very excited about We are finally... Finally, finally able to go and get cracking with the potatoes today. Um, now, you may recall that it, we kind of got rained out last week, so we couldn't get anywhere near doing them. Uh, but that's hopefully a little bit better now. Looks like that's not going to be the case anymore, so we're able to push on uh the ground is looking okay where possible the weeds have been sprayed off there uh they're still they're still kind of uh visible though but the farmer in question said you know what, just go for it get it done that's exactly what we're gonna do really we don't have anything else to uh uh to, uh, to say or control with the matter so we're gonna just head on our way now you'll notice we are in the new telehandler uh we've got a nice new little uh bit of kit on the front here which is a potato turning crate so I've already taken a load of seed potatoes down there on the back of the uh, Broin trailer. Uh, I have parked that up, that's ready to go, because uh, I had to go and get it from a little bit further afield, so we use the action to do so. The tractor and planter uh, is down there now. Uh, I've been told it's not a drill, it's a planter. Um, so that's all ready to go. And now all we need to do is take down the loaders, we can get those all loaded up, and we're going to give it a go. Uh, like I say, quite intrigued, very excited by this whole prospect. Um, something completely new to me, and uh, yeah, it should be very interesting indeed. So, uh, we'll see how we can get on there. It has been a miserably wet couple of, uh, uh, best part of a week now, actually. But uh, it does look like we've hopefully turned the corner. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Um, we just go over here. Nothing coming. Oh, there is something coming. Oh, Lord. Sorry, ma'am. Kind of crept out of nowhere there. All right, and around we go. So we're going to take this down. Uh, like I say, there is... Apparently, I... Again, I only had to go and pick up the order, but apparently there's plenty uh, seed potatoes there ready to go. And uh, we can get ourselves started with it. So uh, that is going to be interesting to see how we get on. I'm curious to see how the action will pull it. It should have more than sufficient power to do so, but these things you never know. You always want to have a bit of a trial run with it, really. So that's exactly what we'll do. And uh, yeah, take, watch it uh, kind of go from there. Um, but yeah, other than that, we're all looking good. This is some of the last spring groundwork that we have actually got to do. Um, and I actually have a job for hopefully for next week for first cut silage. So. Uh, we'll see what the weather uh, gods have in mind for us then, see if we can actually get ourselves away with it. Because if we can, yeah, we've got a lot to get cracking with, and it's going to be gonna be a nice good start there. So uh, we will be intrigued to see how we get on. I do actually have to go down to the local crow dealership. There is a round baler there ready for us to demonstrate, uh, and that is exactly what we will do. So we need to go and get that at some point but that's not for a little while yet now i'm just gonna lift this up because i just want to be able to see what's uh what is coming if anything excellent around we go perfect stuff and we are just in here on the right uh hopefully if it's still there Oh, it's still there. See the uh, factory trailer is just on the side of the bridge here, and there's the planter. We're looking good. So it's not the world's biggest field. We are going to use the GPS to get this in, um, and it's, I've got a few instructions as how to finish the headlands off as well, and we'll see how we get on. There we go. Okay, so what I need to do is a bit of that. I need to open up the grab there where possible. Okay. It's quite a mean looking grab there. So this one, it does actually hydraulically pivot. So you can just kind of roll all of the boxes forward. And now we're just going to start by taking these. Oh, get out of there, too. Get those two straps off there. Look underneath. There we 
it is still a little sticky on this side which i'm quite amazed that it's all ready to go but here we are that's us all locked in there so let's pull to that side okay and then one thing we'll do before we get any further let's just leave this here We'll just get this fired over, I think, to start with. And even... Uh, let's get this looking like it's ready for action, because it's not there yet, that is for sure. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's been worked over a few times this field. The weeds have come back in, they've been sprayed off, I've been told, go for it. Uh, I personally would want to make sure that they have all been... show a little bit more sign of actually looking dead. But, hey-ho, not my field, uh, not my gig, really. So we'll see about that. Fantastic! Listen to the pair. Pull back and sit slightly here, and then we might even just do a little bit of a turn. We'll set up properly here. Lovely looking plant. This is six meters wide. It's a beaut. It really, really is. Everything is set up there. I've got the additive that we're putting on in the tanks there. It's all been calibrated apparently. Uh, and all looking good. And uh, we will, well, we'll be able to prove that and see in a moment, I guess. If I can make it work, anybody can use this thing, I would say. Okay, yeah, that goes. That's a rather impressive looking thing, and down it goes as well. Oh, wow, look at all that. I wasn't expecting that to go up. We'll lower it down. Fantastic. That actually suits it now. It doesn't look quite as uh, quite as big when it's all uh, in position. Very nice looking bit of kit though. Uh, for anyone like myself who is new to it, you can see there is a uh, a belt feed that comes along here with the uh, sea potatoes from the hopper, and then they fall into their respective uh, chambers, uh, where they are then taken down and planted at a given seed rate. Much in a similar way to a drill would really, but just obviously a little bit different ball game. All right, let's see if we can get this all figured out. A little bit further forward, that'll do us. All right, I think we're good. Just been a little bit gentle with this first time because I don't want to really damage anything. Oh! There we go, just like that. That was that first one done, I think. Fantastic. Pull that up. What I think we'll do as well. I'm going to try and figure out a way to get these onto this trailer again. Get that all done. Uh, but we're going to put a, uh, another one in here because that seems to go so well. Easy does it there, Andy. Wonderful stuff. Stop. Yeah, this stuff is easy. Another go. Alright, so it's attempt number two. We go as easily as the last one did, I think. Uh, we'll stop out there. Fantastic news. And in there you go. You know what? We might just start with that, actually, I think. See how we get on there. And it should be fine. Let's pull that up. And bring that in there. Absolutely perfect. Ah, 
is a very nice little bit of equipment. But let's just jump on in anyway though, we'll see how we get on. And uh, this is where the fun starts really, up it goes. We're going to pull ourselves into forward uh, and we're going to head on over to this side here. Uh, but we need to try and get at least one straight edge to work off, so it may as well be this one. And now what we're going to do is leave a little bit of space on this here corner, just so when they do come to get this all harvested, that they can actually get in and get the, uh, the, the harvester working properly. I would imagine. Um, so... Really even just come away from the edge as well on the headland. We're gonna go in about there. So let's just get our GPS ray to rock and roll. Get our planted turned on. You can see now that the uh, that our, like our little conveyors really are starting to function as well. There, which is looking good. Uh, so we are you can find that let's put that down mm, we are as good as away look at that first time ever that I am actually uh, and let's just get a marker down for the sake of it for this run I'm actually drilling potatoes good grief who'd have thought it we'll keep going for a little bit longer as well and then we'll try and get a second point in there that people hey this this uh this drilling lock is easy i am joking of course uh, this is pretty some of the easy conditions that they've been around all year to kind of get this into which is why i've kind of opted to take this on because i knew that it wouldn't be wouldn't be too tough uh, all right gps work your magic there you go and we'll go down as well there Happy days. All right, then. We are looking good to go. Just going to try and get the alignment for the speed set up next. We can't go too quickly for that one. But otherwise, we're looking good. So we're going to continue. See what we can get done. Sounds like there's a plane above me somewhere. So we're going, because we are in GPS as well, we're probably just going to skip a row. It got a little bit, uh, a little bit easier for us on the turn. All right, perfect. Look at that. We're off. So hope you all do very well. Do let me know down below what you're getting up to, what you're working on, what you're driving, as always. I uh, hope you are getting some weather a little bit more like this today than the last time you were with me, because, yeah, last time it was not very good. Uh, but, yeah, that should all be... There we go. Yeah, and we should hopefully see that the weather's mildly improving at least for you all there. We are certainly getting the best of it uh, right now. At least it's going to be looking like next week we should have a little bit of grass to work on with. And I think, as I mentioned there, we're going to go and pick up the chrome baler anyway. Uh, we, to start with, it was a case of just having a look at the chrome baler and see what we thought of it. Um, but I have noticed that when we were using our lately at the back end of last year that it was starting to tangle a lot. There was a lot of net wrap being tangled up on the roller bearings and it's just a pain, frankly. Um, so it's, it is something that it's perhaps worth considering. Um, we'll have to play with it anyway. I know we're going to have it for around about a week so we can have a play with the chrome baler. See what we think of it and then uh, take it from there. But it is just... Uh, the, I have heard good things about Chrome, so we'll have to see. If you, any of you out there are currently using the Chrome, do let me know. Let me know your experience with it. See what it's like and the pros and the cons. Uh, and we will uh, have a look into that for sure. Uh, there we go. Uh, and then we'll see how we get on there. But yeah, this is going to be us for probably the next couple of hours it's not the biggest field there as you can see we're, we're surging our way through but we're in, we're in no real rush there just want to make sure we do this properly 
Uh, going about the right speed based on the calibration we have. It looks like everything is looking good. We're running within one centimeter of accuracy, so I'll take that. That should work pretty well for us. Uh, and then we are away back. We've got another load of pallets uh, ready to pick up from the BGA. And we're about at the stage now where I have about, I've recently picked up about 70 acres worth of, uh, of barley harvesting contracts, uh, which is good. And I've also managed to buy the straw on the back of that. Uh, which will mean that we are able to, uh, when we get the chance, we're able to uh, actually get that build and sell it directly to the BJ there, which would be good for uh, a, a good little option for uh, for diversity really for us. So uh, watch the space as we get onto that one. And otherwise, we're looking pretty darn good today, I think. Uh, much happier mood uh, now that the weather's lifted. Uh, the combine is still parked up at home. I haven't had a chance to really do or play with that in any way, but really in its current state there's not much that needs to do anyway so we'll probably just leave it and see how it see how it gets on uh now we'll lift up there pretty full lock on here i'm not gonna get around there Yeah, you'll hear the engine tone completely change there as the revs died on the uh, class. That is all done through the onboard computer that I've got set at the moment. Uh, just knocks it off whenever it's in reverse. Get around there. Some, some numpty park there. I tell you how they're banging the way. And away we go, watching out for everything, nice and spaced out. Oh, somebody's in trouble somewhere. Again, there's a lot of police around here. They really, really are. Alright, perfect. So, what we might do actually is just stop the... Hello. Someone's come to spy on me. I can't see where they are. Someone has come to spy on my drilling though. Uh, and it looks alright. It's not looking too bad. Uh, but yeah, we're looking good. How much have we used? What's the hopper looking like here? Oh, about half of what we stuck in there. So we'll probably get... It looks like it might be too many crates, but uh, hey, never mind. Uh, so I don't know what we're going to plan for the rest of those ones, but no doubt we'll, we'll find that out as we get them moved. But otherwise, yeah, very happy with it. Very happy with this little bit of equipment on the front as well. That worked miraculously well. And uh, yeah, once again, another, so far at least, another bit of a win. So we'll see how this goes. We are going to keep pushing ahead though. Uh, and we'll try and get the rest of this done as soon as possible. So if you do have any questions, comments or feedback, please don't forget to leave them down below. Uh, otherwise, thank you ever so much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed. I've been Andy, the Young Farmer. This has been, well, something a little bit different, really. But not often we get to do this, so it's uh, quite the interesting little job. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I am. And uh, if you have, let me know. Otherwise, we will see you in the next one. Until then, do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing as always. But most importantly, happy farming.